We're back in the garage today and we're gonna do something that was mentioned in a recent video. Lots of people have mentioned talking about different tolerances between the Honda engine block and the clone. So today's video, we're gonna do some measurements before we make that judgment call because right now is a perfect opportunity. However, the old block is already worn so the tolerances are gonna be different there. Pulled out some measuring tools here. Let's grab the parts and start measuring. Take some measurements of the old and the new piston. The problem with using mics trying to measure this, especially on a round object, a cylinder type object, you know, if you're out of cunt here, that makes a big difference in your reading. So we're just going to use the calipers because it overextends the center. So it's going to give us the best reading. But, anyways, let's have a look and see what we got. Keep in mind the old Honda Pistons worn, but the bore is 68 millimeter. Now, of course, you're not going to have a 68 millimeter piston because otherwise, once it warmed up, it would be an interference fit. So, the old piston measured 2.663, which worked out to 67.6402 millimeters. The new piston is 2.699, which works out to 67. 0.7926 millimeters so the new piston is slightly bigger than that one by about a cunt here let's get that engine block out now this next test we're going to measure engine block thickness and we're going to go right off here off both sides now however like you guys said the alloys might be different. I have no way to test that to see which one's stronger, which one's better. So this test is just going to be a static test on how thick the engine block is, how close they are. And that, I am going to have to use my micrometers for that. engine thickness of the engine block the results are in the old is 0.2052 and the new is 0 0.1761 so the new block is thinner than what the old block is so that's going to make a difference when it comes to strength now they both have pressed in piston sleeves so let's just measure those but keep in mind we have a high probability of error because we're using a non-precise measuring tool to get these readings so these work, I just squeeze them in, tighten them up, kind of stick it in there, kind of keep it somewhat straight, tighten it, pull it out, now we're going to measure The cylinder measures out to 70.485 millimeters and the new one measures out to 70.561 millimeters. Okay, I just had to redo that because using the telescoping gauges made a huge error just like I said and then when I did my conversions I had like I was out by almost three mils which is complete fucking bullshit so I used my caliper to measure the inside of the cylinder which worked out to be a whole lot better not saying it's a hundred percent perfect either but I'm at least in a reasonable amount of measurement now so I'll show you how I did that so what I did so I just used the inside part of the caliper and then I kind of angled and I watched the dial to see where my biggest reading was because that will give me the closest to center as possible. Now the tolerance of the old one 
can see right there the difference in measurements. The top one is the one I got from using the caliper, the bottom one of this one, where the telescopic gauge was these ones. So you could see the huge difference. But anyways, took this number 67.995 minus 67.640, came the, the tolerance of 0.355 millimeters. The new one, 67.97 minus 67.79 came to 0.18. Now, of course, you're comparing old and new, but hopefully that settles some curiosity. I'm not saying the materials and the aftermarket China-made ones are going to be any good. I just want to show you guys because a lot of people posted stuff about tolerances, and I kind of showed you some. So hopefully that settles that. I think it's motherfucking beard time and end this video. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. Oh. I'm going to end the video there on the engine tolerances between the Honda and the Honda Clone. Now, like I said before, there's going to be differences because the Honda engine's worn. But hopefully, I want to thank you guys for all your comments that you made uh, saying what you guys think would be the main differences as far as quality and all that goes so hopefully this clarifies it the real test is going to be once we get that engine together and get it running because we're using clone parts with Honda parts are we asking for a shit show or will this thing actually run anyways motherfucking beer time if you have any questions or comments post them below otherwise thanks for watching